Hi guys, I've seen the movie last Saturday, and this is how I felt. First of all, I totally agree with most of the Christian YouTubers who mentioned that there were too many explicit sex scenes in this movie. I totally agree. There's another problem about these sex scenes. It is not about what is shown, rather about what is not shown. I read this novel like three years ago, and I clearly remember there are some sex scenes in the book. The guy and the girl they had many meaningful conversation in it. I remember the hero Michael Hosea insisted that Angel saying his name during the sex scenes, and Angel, because of her past experience, her twisted view of sex, she just found really hard to do so. These details are much more important than how they did it, you know. But sadly, I didn't see them in the movie. But still, I have to say honestly, apart from that, I pretty much enjoy the movie. It what touches me was really not how deep this guy loved this girl. I think God showed me one thing I didn't quite realize before. It is how pathetic our ambition seemed in God's sight. Before we know him, I mean, before Angel met Michael, she was a prostitute and she had her plans, her ambitions, and her biggest ambition was to collect enough money so she could build up a house of her own and become a self-employed, a prostitute. And suddenly, in this movie theater, I had this revelation: like, wow, this was just like me. And I am a new YouTuber, and、uh, I've been working one year so hard, try to meet the standard of the YouTube YPP, so I could receive money from YouTube. That that kind of became my biggest ambition in in my life. But and sometimes I have this feeling like I already began to ignore something more important, something God want me to do in my life, like. Like getting involved in church, serving the community, and even taking care of my family. But when I was not close to God and pray enough, and、uh, I got blinded all the time, just like Angel. And that's the biggest takeaway for me when after I watched this movie.